If you need to make a statement in your home, just zhuzh it up a little bit. Jamie Ray is here from Jamie Ray Vintage, and you're going to show us how easy it is to add a pop of color to your frames. Yeah, well, just to how to complete your gallery wall, because mm -hmm. gallery walls are all the rage, right? And you have that one last spot that you can't find the right size frame. What did you use? Is this pallet wood? This is actually old fencing, but are you could you use pallet wood too. Yeah, somebody's old fence we tore down, we got a pile of it. So you're driving by, like looking. <laughs> you're, you have your eye on yeah. wood on I'm the like, side of the road. Oh, there's wood. I gotta go. <laughs> I turn the car. Okay, but once you see something like that, what do you do next? How do you put it together? Okay, so you're gonna do a 45 degree angle, and you're gonna use a compound miter saw. Mm -hmm. It's really easy. You just put a 45, done. Okay. And then you're going to put the edges together, like a puzzle, with glue. Mm -hmm. And then I'll flip this over. This is what it looks like when it's on done. On the back, and you can see there's three staples on each seam. I just use my handheld staple gun. Okay. And that's it. And that's it? That's it. This one has a routered edge, but you don't have to do that if that's beyond your craft level. I but love yeah. the look of it, though. Yeah, and you could even leave it just like this if you wanted something a little more rustic. Okay. But if you want to add detail, I have appliques I sell on my website, and you can add them to the corner. Are you gluing those on? You're How gluing them on. So I use E6000. Mm hmm this is amazing glue. It takes a little while to dry, but once it's dry, it's, it's not coming off. Not coming off. It's not like super glue where it instantly sticks your fingers together and you can't get it. Or apart. gorilla glue, glue yeah. where oh. it gets all puffy. Yeah, and, this and doesn't do that. Should you do four? I mean, you it's can up do to whatever you, you right? want. So I brought a few to show what you would do. Okay. I've got this one here, mm -hmm. and if you wanted to put it on a big frame, you could just do it across the top. Or you could add a couple extras to the corners. I mean, it's really anything. Do you paint them all no. at the same time? Y yeah, you don't have to paint them ahead of time. Once you're okay. all done, or if you wanted two different colors, paint your frame, and then you paint your applique, and then glue it on. What kind of prep goes on th the wood before we paint it? Well, you want to get the splinters off. Yeah, so I, you need to sand I, those. Have you found that out the hard way? Yeah, <laughs> you don't want to look close at my hands. They're pretty bad. But if your wood was newer and not reclaimed, you could just do it the way that it is. Because the paint that I use is single step. Oh, this is So you paint. don't have to sand unless you want to get rid of the splinters. All right, so what if you are worried about being great with a saw and finding wood on the side of the road? Can you still do this project with a frame that you have at home? For sure, anything with a flat edge, or you can go by your local thrift store or Goodwill or DI, find a frame, you know those ugly frames with the big pictures somebody yes. painted way back when? Rip the picture out, and then you can add your detail and then paint it. Is that what you did with this one? Yeah. Or you could? You okay. could. That's what I did with, if you want to look over here on this big chalkboard. This was just an ugly old picture. I don't even remember what was in it. I ripped it out and then I painted, I added the detail and painted it. It completely changes the look of it. I like that mint that you have on your frames. And look, the detail just in the corners too. You can just add it to the corners or the top and the bottom. Yeah. It takes you how long to do a project like this? Um, not including dry time, like uh, 20, 25 minutes maybe. What? Yeah, I'm pretty quick. Okay, I want you to be as quick and uh, have your home, have these cool vintage frames like Jamie Ray. Go to her website, jamierayvintage.com. We will link you from ours. And it's, it's easy. It's easy. It, it. It, yeah, it doesn't take very long at all. Okay, done, Jamie. I'm, I'm in. All right, thanks. I'm in. Brian, over to you. Um, we are going to be making, like in the kitchen, healthy bites. So you have your project, and now you have a snack next. You deserve it, right? That's right. Coming up, a fun toy will also give new meaning to the word jumping for joy. It's something both parents and kids can get excited about.